Queen of the Rosary Catholic Academy, the Williamsburg classrooms are quiet, except for clicking keys and scratching pens. I enjoy it. It's our passion for me doing math every day. That's right, math. The kids in the academy are quietly competing in the 2017 math bowl, and the stakes couldn't be higher. It's crazy because you compete with a lot of people. Not just the 64 Catholic schools in Brooklyn and Queens who enter the competition, but their own classmates as well. The scores are calculated by class, meaning the grades are competing against each other. And the math problems aren't always easy. From the easy, to the hard, mm -hmm. to the middle, they have to do everything. James Dano is the new principal at Queen of the Rosary. Before, as teacher at Queen of All Saints, his classes won the contest three years in a row. He's brought the math bowl to his current school, not only to continue the streak, but to help his students better understand his favorite subject. I have seen what it really has helped the children, not only in standardized testing, but with their confidence in the subject. And the tactic seems to be working. Currently, the school's eighth grade class holds the top spot, but with such a high prize at stake. They could get a pizza party and ice cream. The other grades are quickly working to catch up. And Mr. Dano is always around to give helpful advice to his students. My tips are, follow the rules. If it says that a child does an assignment three times, they can get 300 points. They should not be doing that assignment a fourth time because they won't receive anything. But Mr. Dano ultimately has a higher hope for his kids. I'm hoping that they'll love math the way I've always loved math. The results of the contest will be announced next week. Reporting for Currents, I'm Katie Angusser.